everybody, welcome to Northern Land Tries Danger Gazers. I've heard you loud and clear. NL, you're playing these strategy games, these adventure games, you're getting out of your wheelhouse. Whatever happened to the roguelites? Whatever happened to the deck builders? It's been three days since you took a look at one. Well, that's, you know, where you're in luck. Danger Gazers literally came out on Steam today. It's a post-apocalyptic roguelite top-down shooter where you pave your own path. Sound familiar? And it, it, from the screenshots, it looks a lot like something like Nuclear Throne, so I'm hoping, uh, you know, I've got some carryover skills and knowledge that can help us out here. And, uh, it was $6.89 Canadian for its opening week sale, which is a, it's a deal. It's a deal and a half. Um, Ada. Walks faster, lower max ammo. Lower than what? Max, higher bullet speed, lower pickup radius, with a dash ability, with a mine ability. Angel, higher accuracy with lower max HP and invincibility. I'm gonna tell you, why don't you just give me Ada by default here? I didn't even look at the relics, I apologize. So, I'm. let me just start by saying, okay, does it have a nuclear throne influence? Yeah, like clearly, but how much of that is just because the first level is set in the desert? Nuclear Throne does not have a monopoly on the desert, okay? So let's figure this out. We got enemies. We're blasting them. We're picking up diamonds of some sort. I have to be honest, these guys do not appear to pose much of a threat to me. I'm looking at the HUD. I'm realizing we have infinite ammunition. Oh, uh, excuse me, there is a, a Sir Lancelot with a carrot. And some spitters. That say, us when you get them. So I'm trying to see what else we got. So we got unlimited ammo in the top left. We also have 17 other ammo, which I'm assuming maybe is for uh, our secondary ability or like weapons we could pick up later. I'm gonna just hit some random buttons. Q, E, space. What's this? Wh what are you? Whoa! You scared me. What are you? Small ammo pouch. Sure. Increase your ammo capacity. Don't poison me, please. I have 5 of 5 HP and a green bar that I thought indicated I was poisoned, but now I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. SMG. It's got 33 bullets. Blast them. Map piece dropped. Go back to caravan. For level 1 of the tutorial, easy enough. Packing up. 3, 2, one, let's jam. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so it's got an FTL style, like, node screen here. Rodden Elder, random, random stash. And I guess this is what we just finished, and this is our boss. Random, right? Take me to the Rodden Elder, dude. A sacrifice has to be made, young thing. Run away for nine gems or sacrifice 50% HP. By the way, I appreciate you getting a cellular telephone tattooed on your eyebrow. That's commitment to the medium. I will sacrifice 50% of my HP to get a tarot card of a panther. <laughs> um, enemies. Sure, okay, we can't go back. Pause the game for a second, what the heck? Panther. Oh, so these are like our items. Increased fire rate plus 3%. As long as we can get some maximum HP, doesn't bother me. Oh, and I, I just realized my right-click ability is what placed that mine as well. I don't know, though. Oh, it, I, I saw we have a little particle effect around us when it's recharged. See? What did I tell you? Perfect timing. SMG again. Sorry, these don't have, like, unique effects so far. I think that's just... That's a money plant. You know how boomers always tell you money doesn't grow on trees? You just show them this game right here. First, you're going to have to tell them how to install YouTube on their tablets. But after that, you're in the clear. I feel like I walked into a cactus or perhaps an enemy there. But we're still doing fine. One thing I would like to see, I'll tell you right out of the gate so far. Hold on. Increase fire rate plus 5%? Yo, Granny screwed us. We just got a, an increased fire rate for free. Didn't even have to give half our life force to... What's the name of that company that uh, was doing, like, private blood transfusions in order to combat the effects of aging? You know they made the documentary about it on HBO. Just fill in the blanks of the joke yourself, please. I would like to see some more unique guns. Like, 
Right now, let's see what we got. Cave or stash? Take me to the Cave of Wonders. I want to explore a little bit. Um, you know, SMG, sure. I got nothing against it, but can we get an adjective? Legendary SMG. Seven ammo. Incendiary SMG. Venomous SMG. Uh, hello. Hello! This is... Okay, don't get hit for one. But also, do you consider perhaps placing some mines around? Thank you, thank you. Some ammunition as well, but I don't believe we can switch to that gun. Spike trap. Understood. Hold on. I... Don't step in the poison, for one. But secondarily... Let, don't get hit here. These guys, if you get hit by those guys, you might as well retire. From video games, not from your job. You're gonna need that, because you're sure not going pro on the esports circuit. There you go, pop a mine down. We're actually doing okay. Oh, don't walk into the- Oh, don't walk into the spike! I- Okay, that went- that went wrong quickly. We only lived for five minutes on that one, we got one panther card. Alright, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing so far. Let's do an angel run here. Bad start. And our right click ability is invincibility, right? Yeah, we get a little shield for a bit. 30% chance gun chest will be empty. 70% chance gun chest will contain an additional gun. The cursed puzzle piece. Straight out of Baba is you. Right now, I'm picking up what it's putting down. It is, it's, it's got Gungeon elements, it's got Streets of Rogue, ooh, thank you. It's got Streets of Rogue elements, um, and it's got a lot of what appear to be Nuclear Throne elements so far. I wanna see a little bit more out of the game first, because right now I'm a little bit, uh, underwhelmed with the loot. That's what I, like, the items so far, I'm for them. You know, the, the, a tarot card mechanic seems kinda interesting. Uh, Take me back to the Rod and Elder. I'm willing to sacrifice my HP to get some kind of benefit from the psychedelic safe. The Serpent. I, I want to interface more with this part of the game. I want to see what kind of variance we can get in our runs, you know? Um, so hold on, pause me here for a second. Increased max HP by two. That seems super good. Unfortunately, we did sacrifice, you know, HP to get there. So we really need to get more HP as soon as possible. Okay, so there's the cursed puzzle piece being truly cursed for us. It does also seem weird to me right now that there's no way to switch. I mean, it, it's weird because this isn't the way this works in other games. So I should actually check the controls menu to see what's up with it. But um, it seems weird to me. Oh, oh the bandage. What did, what did it do though? <laughs> Find more med kits. Okay. So it's a pass. It's like a trinket from Isaac. It seems weird to me that we wouldn't be able to switch to uh, our other weapon, if that makes sense. So, I do also know this has co-op. I don't know if it's online yet. Once we die, which is pretty much inevitable, we'll figure it out. But let me let me check the controls for a second here. Change gun is Q. Drop gun is G. So you totally can. All right. I am using keyboard and mouse for this, as you might expect. And I'm trying to figure out what the, what's the green bar that's charging up. That's where I'm confused right now. Take me back to the Rod and Elder. I, if I know anything about road lights, the, the faster you sacrifice to get better, the better your chances become. And then we only have the choice of fighting an elite, which possibly means we're going to die. Increased bullet speed of two. So we might even be able to ro- Oh, help. We might even be able to replace our uh, infinite ammo weapon. Whether or not you'd actually like to do that, it remains to be seen. I'm pretty sure the green bar is our ability, by the way. I think that's our invincibility ability. Yeah, it appears to be. Okay, so like definitely do not get hit. We do get to keep the other gun as well. Okay, see this is why... If I were actually a respected member of the media, or if I want to become a respected member of the media, should probably put about 15 seconds into the game before acting like I know what I'm talking about. Excuse me. Excuse me, Blastoise. 
Don't tell me. That's not a weed. I didn't know they built deflector shields into this game. I hope that's the elite. Okay, hold on. I don't believe... No, we can't replace our infinite ammo gun. Fair enough. I was really trying on that. Cursed paw. Better walk speed, but med kits are worse. You know what? It's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. But I will indeed continue to try to... I mean, if you're playing a roguelite and you see an item for the first time and you don't take it, I'm sorry to tell you this. You're a coward. For the rest of your life, your cowardice will be known throughout the land. You have to take an item to know whether or not it's bad. I firmly believe in the in the realm of roguelites, this is the honest to goodness truth. If you would thank you, thank you. Kill the spawner, please. Which probably oh I lost the freaking ammo too. Okay, go back to caravan. How about here's a little thought for you. How about you don't tell me what to do and instead <laughs> I am the arbiter of my own destiny. Okay, so I'm hoping we can see like a boss soon. Because there's a few different like nodes in a roguelite. Cave or stash? Let's peep the stash quick. Maybe we can buy something. Angel found a stash of supplies. 2 HP and 15 ammo. Okay. Continue the journey, please. It's the boss. There's a few different times when a, a roguelite game tends to... Uh, change your run you know in isaac it's like item rooms boss items deals with the devil and stuff like that in nuclear throne is every time you level up you get a perk and then you know every chest allows you to get a new weapon that could change the the way that your run functions oh my mistake sir so so far in this yeah the rod and elders let you get uh they're basically like a permanent deal with the devil and i'm, I'm very in favor of uh you know exploring that deal with the devil sort of design space more frequently instead of just having it, you know, be two or three times per run. Medkit CO plus two HP, okay. But I'm also, I'm a hoping to see Sirius likes boxes. TF? Uh, TF? You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. I'm just saying I'm not the expert. I'm hoping to see a, a, a little bit of extra, you know, design space be explored after this boss fight. But it seems solid enough right now. I will say... I'm... Oh! You know what? You did great work there. I was just about to say, like... Seems like we're getting a lot of mileage out of walking backwards here. And that is indeed the case. However, I did almost die from getting hit by a basic enemy like a fool. Achievement unlocked. Elemental ring. Increases elemental damage by one. Legendary shotgun. Now we're talking. <laughs> Don't use that yet. It's not worth it. And a tarot card. Oh, the legendary shotgun replaced our um, our pistol. Thorn. Probably. I'm assuming, if I know anything about video games, when you get hit, reflect that damage back on other enemies. Nope. Increased accuracy plus 10. I could have told you that. You ever consider, like, right-clicking to use your invincibility? Or are you just gonna kinda let that be a, a deterrent without ever actually exploring its ability to be used? Ice pistol. Don't mind if I do. If I know anything about video games, this should freeze enemies. <sighs> I'm starting to think I don't know as much about video games as I originally thought. Okay, we just killed the boss. I refuse to perish. Sorry. It's the honest to goodness truth. We'll kill all the enemies. Get a bunch of ammo for our ice pistol. Pick up the map piece. Get the heck out of town. What is the other? It's just an SMG. Machine gun. No. No! I saw it at the last minute. Okay. So, we are very, very near death. But still working on it. Take me out. Safe zone, yes. Can I click on the dice? You cannot click on the dice. I'm looking for anything to save me right now. Okay, is Biome 2. Mushroom Nightmare. This is the most vulnerable- Okay. It's- that's a goldfish in a helmet, brother. 
It's the most vulnerable time of any roguelite. The first time you're encountering new enemies. Okay. Med kits, please. Yikes. Okay. I'm gonna tell you, not a huge fan of the lightning strike. But as we've already es established in, in myriad circumstances, I am a coward who hates fun. So perhaps I'm in the minority on that one. Um, what do you think that thing is? It does appear to be taking damage. It's a large cache of merchandise. If you don't mind, could you please provide me... ...with some medical attention? I'm in dire need of some medical support. Whoa, okay, I did not, I guess it's like a, it's a loot box. It could be a golden LeBron James rookie card, or it could be uh, complete garbage. Careful, careful, it could, it could be nothing apparently. You know, I, I've opened some Magic the Gathering packs in my life where I would have rather gotten nothing than, than the rare I got. Sad though it might be to say. Is there a medical kit? There is not a medical kit. I'm proud of us for doing as well as we've done here. Whoa! I, honestly, I thought that the- oh! <laughs> I died on the cursed jungles. Okay. So like the, uh, let's go back to the main menu a second. I want to check out something. Co-op for danger gazers. I'll select my hero, Maximum. Ah, uh, is it- it's local, I assume? So, hold on, if you pull out the controller... What's our relic? Mask of Torture? Uh, let's not. Whoa! King Box no longer a king. Some say the box is already dead. Anonymous for what? Okay, so I think we, we, things have changed slightly. Alright, so this is a- uh, it's local only, which is fine. And, and honestly expected, but that would have given it a little bit of elevation for sure. So let's check out Max today. He's got a dash. We'll do one more uh, run or at least a little bit of a run to see how we fare here. Um, so obviously, like, so far, is a little bit of jank associated with it, but it's got some good ideas as well. Uh, it might not necessarily be elevated to the top of the, you know, the, the S tier of Northern Lions roguelike rankings. Uh, but it seems like a, a relatively fun diversion so far, and local multiplayer adds a adds a certain wrinkle. Really, like I oh that was fast. I really think like um, like Steam Remote Play is definitely not perfect as of right now, but the fact that it exists makes all these like local only games have like a possible like new lease on life if that makes sense. Companion, companion found. Gulo, the booster of anger, will maximize your effectiveness in combat. Thanks, Gulo. Select hero? Yeah, I'll, I'll be max. <laughs> Alright, we got some enemies here. He will boost our effectiveness in combat. Thanks for that. I really appreciate you boosting... Ah, I see. I really appreciate you boosting... ...my efficiency in combat. Yeah, it's, in particular, like, it's opened up a lot of games for, like, ooh, improved gun accuracy. Well, I'm afraid you can't change my human mind, but, um... It's opened up a lot of games that, like, previously wouldn't have been candidates to be played on the NLSS to actually be in contention for that. Now, there's still some latency issues, and I'm not sure if that's based on the connection of the people connecting, or the connection of the host, or some composite of the two. So, games like this that require, um, you know, relatively fast reaction times might not necessarily be, like, your your number one choice for that, but it might be worth a shot anyway. And I think I'm playing too slow. I'm realizing now, like, one of the strengths of this game is that it's, uh, it's zippy. You know, you're finishing rooms in like 10 seconds. So I do want to go to the shop. I haven't seen one yet. I can barely afford things, but... Oh! Bullets bounce off walls? Thank you. Send me. Where's our... There's no rotten elder on this floor. So I'm hoping as well, like... It, it really, it's it's hard. And this is why Northern Lion tries. I don't want you to consider it to be a series where I necessarily give uh, 
my opinion on games like, oh, what's the score for this game out of 10, etc., etc. Uh, I stepped in ice and got hurt, apparently. It's a true Canadian winter. Um, and I, I just did it again. And I almost got killed again. Be cool. Be freaking cool here. Um, yeah, I don't want you to consider it uh, a series where I'm, I'm really, like, reviewing games. Like, for shorthand, yeah, it is a review. But it doesn't carry the hallmarks of, like, a more traditional review. Like, in particular, like, you know, playing the game almost all the way through and, and really getting, like, a deep dive into the mechanics. It's more, it's, it's themed as, like, a, in my intention at least, is to theme it as if it's, like, a, an entertainment product that is showing off new stuff and simultaneously, you know, giving you broad strokes, if you know what I mean, about how I feel about uh, the game. So, you know, I, I would definitely would not say I've got a full grasp of, you know, the systems and all that stuff going on here, but... Companion found. Lola is love. Lola is life. Please tell me you did not replace Gulo. Yo! -ho! We're running our own roguelike daycare right here. I'm also like, this is... I'm, I'm gonna die. This is ancillary to the, to the greater game here. Um... But the Steam sale is now complete. The winter sale, I should say. There will be more, I'm sure. Um, so welcome to the new era of Northern Lion Tries, where, you know... Help me. We got plus four HP. Was that from Lola? We've had Cursed Puzzle Piece before, but I'll, of course I'll take it. Um, you know, there... I'm not saying it's exclusively going to be like premier stuff coming out now, but uh, by and large, I guess it, it takes more than one shot, to one ammo to shoot the ice pistol, which is why I keep whiffing on it. Um, by and large, we should expect to see, you know, more new stuff. It's been nice taking a little bit of a deeper dive, to be honest, into like the stuff that I've missed over the year on Steam, but I, I'm, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention like I'm so excited to be checking out new stuff as well. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. The boss. Excuse me, King Box. I have destroyed you. Okay, you are mad. And I can't really blame you. You know, in Isaac, shot speed is like a joke. Don't shoot the messenger. In this... <laughs> I'm missing with like every third shot because of the speed that this guy moves. So I wouldn't mind. I really thought my dash would protect me there. That's my bad. And then I thought it would protect me there too. But that one I was just late on. Plus 10 ammo. Thank you. Thank oh! <laughs> you died, colon O. Oh. Well, for now, I, I think I was going to do it for... Uh, for our look. Our Northern Lion Tries of Danger Gazers. If you're interested in roguelites, you got a roguelike obsession. You want to catalog them? Check it out. It's also, I, I would feel the need to point out, this is a $6.90 game, 50 cents off for its opening week sale, which is cheap. Like, it's not on the cheap side. That's genuinely, like, in the cheap seats. Cool presentation. Not everybody, I guess, is going to be a big fan of, like, the CRT, like, warping stuff. But, uh, you know, I think I've played the games that inspired this game. I get where it's coming from. I do think it's missing certain X factor to, to keep me hooked right now, but hey. It's the thing in 2020, games are, are a garden, you know? You don't come out with a game like a like a loaf of bread fresh out of the oven and go take it or leave it. It's a collaborative experience between the community, the developers, and etc., etc. So, who knows what the future holds for Danger Gazers. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have been entertained. If you were, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And, of course, check out Danger Gazers on Steam. I'll put a link in the video description below. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!